Hi, my name is Sarah Squires Doyle, and I'm a health educator for CJE Senior Life. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to share one of my favorite activities, and that is writing short stories about our lives. You don't need to be a great writer or have any writing experience. That's not what this is about. It is about getting our stories down, finding joy in reminiscing, reflecting, and sharing lots of wonderful memories. So I hope you will join me as we go on this journey of getting our stories out. Before we begin, I would love to share a personal story. My mother was in a writing class over many years. It is all she talked about. She lived for that class. And one day, she gave my sister and I a collection of about a hundred of her life stories. It truly was the greatest gift. It allowed us to get to know our mom in so many ways, and ways that we might not ever have known to ask about. It also helped us learn more about our family history, our early traditions, and, and gave us a chance to to reconnect on many wonderful times. It inspired me so much that I am now writing my own life stories and I've also become a teacher of these classes. Writing our life stories can really be a therapeutic benefit. It can really help us feel more connected to ourselves and to each other and to relish in all the good memories we have in store up here. So here's how it works. Every day I will provide a short writing prompt. And you can take that prompt in many different directions. You can interpret it in so many ways. So have fun with that. And think about all the different ways you could take that prompt and create a story from your memory bank. That's really the fun part and the challenging part as well. Uh, Write about 500 words or so, and that may sound like a lot, but it's really only a page or two. And you would of course want to have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and to share as many details as possible to make your story come alive. Because hopefully these stories will get passed on to future generations. So really uh, adding that, those extra pieces that might help it, uh, help the reader kind of understand where you were at the time or what you felt or saw really helps connect the reader and the writer. So each day on CJE uh, website, you can find a writing prompt. You can do as many as you like. I would encourage you to start building your own collection and make use of this wonderful time that we have to be in our homes and to reflect on our lives. So please be sure and check our Cyber Club on the CJE website. That's www.cje forward slash Cyber Club. In that space on our website, not only will you find the writing prompts, but you can find a whole library of other resources and really fun, engaging videos and ways that might connect us in ways we might not have tried before. I would also welcome you to share your stories with me. Or if you have questions or need a little more uh, nudging on where to take the prompt, please feel free to reach out to me at sarah.squires-doyle at cje.net. You can also find my contact information on the CJE website at www.cje.net. I hope you will join me in, in sharing our stories or writing our stories. And thank you so much for listening and I hope you stay healthy and well. Thanks again for joining me.